another case of bullying at Fairfield City Schools, and now parents are demanding change. Good evening. I'm Cherie Palello. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Dardis. It was standing room only at the Board of Education meeting tonight. More than 150 people want answers and more transparency from the board. WLWT News 5's Emily Wood live right now at Fairfield High School, where she spoke with several upset parents. Emily. Mike, there was a very large turnout tonight at the board's regular meeting. It was so large, in fact, the crowd spilled out into the hallway. Many people saying tonight they are frustrated with how the district is handling bullying accusations within school walls. Tonight, Fairfield parents, students, and community members say they want school officials to admit there is a bullying problem and fix it. Last December, seventh grader Emily Olson killed herself. Her family says she was bullied at Fairfield Middle School. Ten days Ago, parents of a 13 year old eighth grader say their daughter was intentionally tripped playing hockey at the middle school, causing a concussion. For more than two hours tonight, mothers, fathers, and concerned citizens spoke out against bullying. We've been here before, though. You know, you know. You ask me if I think this is going to change anything. I don't know. I hope, but hope so. but but we've been here before, and you know, we're here again. As we all know, Fairfield School District has been in denial regarding the accountability and responsibility of its role in the death of Emily Olsen. What is going on with our middle school and intermediate building? Common sense tells you there's bullying. The rules do not. The Fairfield School Board says tonight it will consider everyone's comments, but for now, it has no comment. Reporting live in Fairfield, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. All right, Emily, the parents of the girl bullied 10 days ago say that the boy has not yet been disciplined. More